Good morning. Hey everyone, I'm in a different spot for the Mad Town Minute today. Uh, normally I'm up in my office as you know, but um, this morning I'm filming this at a little bit of a different time than normal and didn't want to go to upstairs to my office yet. So I just wanted to sit outside and drink some coffee and ease into the day because it is a little bit um, of a busy one. So good morning to all of you. I hope that your Friday is off to a good start. Um, it says, hang on, we're telling more people that you are on. Okay, so I don't think people have gotten the notification that All Things Madison is live yet, but because so many of you watch this on replay, let's go ahead and dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Erica to Spain and I'm the owner and editor of allthingsmadison.com and social media channels and doer of all the things when it comes to kind of being your um, number one resource about what's going on around town and some of my happenings. Um, so actually, uh, there we go. Okay, just want to make sure I was on the right channel here. Um, and what I like to do every week is make sure that I get on here uh, either Thursday or Friday and kind of share my live happenings from around town. So not only share a little bit of the behind the scenes from the stories that I covered, but also share some of our personal happenings because we live here in the community um, like a lot of you do. Or maybe if you don't live here, you um, work here or you shop here or you visit here. So applicable information for everyone. So I do have some workers actually coming to my house this morning. So I'm going to try to keep this somewhat brief because I have no idea when they're coming. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So this week on allthingsmedicine.com, I have published two stories. I have a third one coming out in probably about an hour. I just need to put finishing touches on it and then set it to live. Um, so on Monday or Tuesday, I introduced you to an opportunity with H&R Block. So H&R Block has two seasonal locations that are right here. Okay, sorry about that. I was paused due to poor connection. Um, H&R Block has two seasonal locations right here in Madison. So both of those locations are hiring for tax season, which begins January 3rd for tax professionals as well as receptionists. So people as young as 18 can be um, the receptionist. So if you were looking for a seasonal job, great. So I was actually super intrigued about the tax professional job. Um, I did an interview with their regional director who shared with me about what a truly amazing opportunity it is. So listen up if this is applicable for you or maybe someone you know who is looking for seasonal work. Here's the deal, you make your own schedule. You can work, they are open during the day, in the evenings, and on the weekends. If you're just joining us, I'm talking about an amazing um, seasonal employment opportunity, H&R Block. So you can work during the day, in the evenings, or on the weekends as much or as little as you want to. Um, you put in your schedule and they um, schedule clients that are coming in to have tax help around your schedule. So if you just wanna make X amount of money, then you schedule um, as much hours as you want to. So what the regional director told me is that he will have some people who are maybe retired military, retired teachers, or just retired in general, and they like finance, they want something to do for three or four months, and they'll go in and just work the hours they wanna work, and it's a great way to be around community members and get out of the house and the extra money doesn't ever hurt um, says my all right, connections back um, he says that he has I'm gonna head inside because our connection is so poor that's what happens when we're live right okay I know our connection is a little wonky okay um, I should have done this in my office right <laughs> again this is live so you kind of get the um, the unedited version of all the things. Okay, so um, a great opportunity. He said that he will have people who they work super hard, um, full-time hours for three, four, five months, and they make enough income to pay their bills for the rest of the year. Uh, this is also a great opportunity for someone looking for a side hustle, an extra job, something to do after um, their full-time job or their part-time job. So. It is an incredible opportunity. You do not have to currently know how to do taxes. You just go on the H&R Block website and they have a whole form you can fill out. You pay $150, you go through the tax courses, and then as soon as you have a passing grade, they interview you, you get the job, and boom, you have a fantastic um, seasonal job opportunity for um, the winter and into spring. So that, check that all out on h and no, not on h and Block. Check it out on my website, allthingsmadison.com. We'll share all the details. Again, I am passionate about sharing it because I think there is someone who could read that information and go, boom, that is exactly what I'm looking for. Something that is, you know, could be fairly lucrative if you are willing to put in the work. Um, 
also something that has a very, very low startup, $150 um, to take that course. So anyway, great opportunity. If you are just joining us and talking about an H&R Block seasonal job opportunity, post it on allthingsmadison.com. Check it out or share it with someone if you know someone who is looking for um, some extra money on the side or a seasonal full-time job. Um, also hiring for receptionist. Yesterday, I published a story about Mallory Hagen. She is Miss America 2013. She lives here in Madison. She moved here a year ago. So um, she and I have gotten to know each other on social media the last few months. We were actually hoping to get together, um, but then we had that hurricane sweep in. The weather was crazy, so we just ended up chatting on the phone. And I just loved asking her questions and hearing about how she got where she is today. I'm a very analytical person and loves to piece together how one experience leads to the next, leads to the next. And so that's exactly what Mallory shared with me. You know, how do you go from, you know, growing up in Opelika, Alabama to winning Miss America to then running for a political office? She ran for Congress to then now she's doing incredible um, work here in the community. So go check out that story about Mallory. Follow her on Instagram. Um, she is a real girl with um, that works super hard. She's very talented, very kind-hearted, um, and has been on the national and international stage and has had a lot of eyes on her, and it's been a wild decade. So definitely go check out her story. It's cool that she lives here in Madison. Um, in about an hour, I'm going to be putting up a story about an interview I did with a marketing director, marketing owner here in Madison. She has a virtual office um, at the offices at Spinrin. So she shared with me a little bit of what it looks like for her to work from home primarily, but also have an option where in today's day and age where the majority of people are working from home, she still has needs where she needs to get out of the house and work in a group setting in a conference room or one-on-one -on -one with a client. Um, and so she uses offices at Spinrin right here in Madison um, off of Sullivan Street. So in about an hour, I'm gonna be sharing a story about what that looks like for her. And hopefully if you are someone who works from home, but you occasionally have needs where you need to meet with one, two, three, 50 people, um, the offices at Spinnerin has options for you. So I'll be sharing that in just a little bit. Okay, let me look at my little um, checklist here and take a sip of coffee. So um, if you're just joining us, hello, happy Friday to you. I'm Erica Despain. Welcome to the Madtown Minutes, where I like to share all the fun things um, that have happened this week. So I'm super excited about tonight because tonight is the official Over the Edge fundraiser for Kids to Love. Um, if you guys have been following along, I've been fund fundraising for them in an effort to hit my fundraising goal of $1,500. I have surpassed it. We are at $1,650. That money, of course, all goes to Kids to Love. Kids to Love is a nonprofit foundation whose headquarters is here in Madison, and they do literally everything for foster care. I mean, there are very few things that they don't have their hands and feet in when it comes to assisting our foster care community. They even actually have locations where um, girls will live full time and they just do some really, really awesome stuff. So I learned about them after doing an interview with them earlier this spring. And then I heard about their fundraiser from that interview. And I said, you know what? Every person that signs up to help fundraise for them is more efforts that they can achieve. And I want to get behind it. It's a Madison nonprofit. So let's do it. And you guys help me um, with re reaching my goal. So tonight I will repel 15 stories down the Regions building in Huntsville, and it might be a little wet because <laughs> I think it might rain tonight, but regardless, it's a rain or shine event, and I'm looking forward to it and conquering the fear and um, just excited to be in that atmosphere of kids to love. So that's what's going on tonight. Okay, on social media this week, I shared about um, New Leaf Counseling Center. They have hired a new clinician. So they now have three therapists there at New Leaf um, Counseling Center there on Hughes Road. So like in the vicinity of phase three um, across the street on the other side of Hughes. So they now have three therapists so you can call. They all serve a range of needs. Um, but if you go on the All Things Madison Facebook page, you'll see that I shared each of their three pictures. And then if you click on the picture, there's a bio about each one of them and what they specialize in and how their avenues to help their clients, um, 
you know, make progress in whatever their, their needs are and issues that they are there at the center to, um, discuss. And so, yes, incredible. Alicia is the owner over there. She's phenomenal. Actually, our kids were in preschool together a few years ago. So I just got to know her and know her heart. And, um, she's an incredible business owner here in Madison with a huge heart for therapy and counseling. And she loves what she does and now has two incredible, um, therapists on staff with her. So check that out. If you or someone that you know and love is in need of one-time, monthly, consistent therapy of any kind. Check them out, New Leaf, there on Hughes Road. Um, did you see the story this week that came out on money.com about the best cities to live in in the entire country? Madison, Alabama is number 12. I, I mean, it goes without saying. Like, that's absolutely incredible because... When you think of, oh, I think we have some workers here. If you are not, um, if you were not on here earlier, I was saying I have some workers coming to my home and I wasn't sure what time they were going to join us. Um, okay, basically, Madison, 12th best city in the nation. Wahoo. Um, there is an incredible, all right, guys, going to cut this short. I do want to tell you about Now Soccer and their homeschool program that they have going on. Please, if you or someone you know and love does homeschool, please go to my Facebook page or Instagram. Check out that post about an incredible homeschool program. I cannot tell you if I were homeschooling this year like I did last year, I would be on this program so fast. There's 30 spots. Check it out. Starts Monday. It's a PE program. You guys have an awesome... Friday, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.